and thank you for clicking this video and checking it out so in this video i'll be explaining how the in-app purchases work all the steps i will just cover all the steps using the official documentation provided by google right so as you can see this is the first step is to initialize a billing client right then the second step is to connect to google play then show the products uh, process the results and then launch the purchase flow right so i will cover all these steps in detail right showing you guys an easy diagram so i will go through the first diagram and also the second diagram okay the second diagram it is when now you have implemented your in-app purchases then you don't you don't see um products on your screen right or if you try to click the buy button then your app crashes so stick around i'll cover this after i'm done with the first diagram right so let me just zoom so as you can see guys uh you will see two systems here then this is gonna be the user's phone and also this is gonna be a google play system so for an example let's um just take this as the main activity so the user is opening a main activity in the main activity they will be on create method right on create method then on create method this is where you need to start initializing the billing client right after you are done initializing the bill the billing client you need to establish connection so the establish connection the device is sending a request to google play then google play will then return a billing setup that it, uh, it's finished right? after sending a request to google play uh, system then google play will then return a status code uh, saying that the billing setup is finished now you are ready to request products from the google play so once the billing setup is finished then the phone will then um, request those uh, products from google play system so in this method inside of this method this is where we need to query the product details right we need to query the product details and then when you send that request to google play uh, system then google play system will then return a list of all the products that you defined in this method if we have three subscription products then google play will return all those products into the user's phone right so and then now once now they are available then you can use this list to just display those products there you can either use a text view or a button or anything that you like just to display the products there then if the user now they decide to purchase one of your product then as soon as they click one of these product a launch purchase flow will be shown on the screen right it's just like a bottom sheet dialog right it's just a bottom sheet then one you click here then this will be shown with the price uh the app name and the subscribe button or a one tap purchase right as soon as you launch this purchase flow a set on list a set listener will be listening to whatever that is going to happen here if the user decides to click subscribe then this set listener will be called right so now the user will then now click subscribe they are subscribing to one of these product then set listener will then call verify purchase then once they verify purchase this method is the method that is going to check if the user has really purchased your product or they just cancelled your product they cancelled um, meaning they didn't buy that product right so in this method this is where you need to track if you are selling coins then that's when you need to give the user coins inside of this method right then if they purchased uh, a subscription then you can just activate um, the subscription there you can use a shared preferences local database in your phone then just change the boolean from one from zero to one meaning it has a um, subscription there right 
So once you send the request or you acknowledge the product to Google Play uh, system, acknowledging the payment, it means that you know that the user has paid um, for that product, right? So Google Play will then mark that product purchased. Then they will then take the money from the user to your account, right? So if you don't acknowledge that payment, then Google will then refund uh, the user, right? So consumable items, consumable items are those items that the user can buy uh, unlimited, unlimited times, right? They can buy and buy and buy. Uh, a, a good example is when you're selling coins, then users can then come buy your coins again and again, right? Once you send that request telling Google that you have acknowledged the payment, then Google will then return a billing response code of OK. Then that's when this um, launch purchase flow, it will get dismissed. Then you will redirect the user to any screen that you want, right? So these are the steps that are written on the official documentation, right? You connect to Google, you show the products that are available, right? So as you can see, this is the product ID, then this is type of subscription. Then you process the results once they are done uh, purchasing, which is that one on the set on set listener. Okay, and then this one is the launch purchase flow. This is the launch purchase flow, and then they can just click subscribe. Then subscribe, and then this this subscribe it will be is going to invoke set listener. Then set listener will then give the user coins or activate um, a premium feature.